Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Why am I so tall? Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing out the Blend Smart versus the Beauty Blender. Yes, this is my beloved Beauty Blender, as you can tell. I found the Blend Smart on Makeup Geek's website and I wanted to try it out. It was reasonably priced. I have seen these out there and they are super, super expensive. And so when I saw this at a reasonable price and it's in rose gold, I decided that I was going to be trying this and I like it. It does feel very spa-esque. It's soft. It gets in the little crevices of my nose, which is wonderful. So what I did today was I decided to do a half and half. I did this half of my face using the Blend Smart and then this half of my face, how about this half, using the Beauty Blender. So you're gonna see some pros and cons for both on my face with how it is shaped. And so we're gonna get into that in a minute and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. All right, today so we are we go. going to use the Blend Smart. I got this off of makeupgeek.com. It is for your foundation. It has an easy on button and these bristles are super soft. So we're gonna use that on one half the face and on the other half the face, I'm just gonna use my standard Makeup Geek sponge to see which one gives me better coverage. So right now I have to mix my foundations because as you can see, I've been out in the sun and I'm not always smart enough to remember to add more sunblock after being in the pool. Right, I'm just gonna kind of dab. I say dab as I'm dragging it across my face. So the bristles are really soft and it kind of feels like a little spa action. I like that it gets in the little corners of my nose because for whatever reason the sides of my nose has deep corners, deep crevices. Now I'm going to do kind of the same thing. Just going to spread some foundation on my face. And then I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Blender. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, how the crevice, I, I have that, but the Blend Smart got in there. I'm just gonna add a little bit more for the crevice there. So let's get up close. So if I'm looking, because that's what I do, the Blend Smart looks to be a little tad bit lighter than bouncing it into the skin. Although, in all honesty, not enough to tell a huge difference. Just maybe a little bit in that spot. And then the top of my nose has a little flaky spot. So don't let that okay. fool you. So I'm going to keep going with my makeup. And yeah. We're going to keep going from there. Okay, so now I want to see how the Blend Smart does on concealer which I obviously put way too much on. Okay, I obviously don't know how to put on concealer with this. So we're just gonna take our beauty blender and kind of blend that out, which I did have way too much concealer on. I guess it just went a little thicker. But again, I like how it felt underneath the eye. Oh my gosh, it's like a little spa. Okay. We're not good at using Blend Smart for underneath the with concealer. Not Blend Smart's fault. It's because mine. Because I can't help myself. I keep wanting to try this Blend Smart. We're gonna try to use some Temp2 Shimmer Bronzer. Follow spells, try something new with the Blend Smart. I'm gonna add some drops. And before they dry. I'm 
You definitely want to pull your hair back for this. Because your hair will get tangled. Okay, I like that. Okay, I do like how that worked with the liquid bronzing drops. The shimmer bronzer from Temp2. I think that just bronzed up really pretty. I like that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Here's where I like the Blend Smart. So the Blend Smart I thought went really good for a first time use on the contour or the liquid bronzing drops that I had. That went on fantastic. It went great into the little crevices of my nose that I have the hardest time getting with the Beauty Blender, which you just saw. I love how it feels. Now where I have to practice is with the highlighter. I didn't do so good with the highlighter. First off, I probably had way too much of the highlighter on. Not highlighter. Concealer. How about we say all of that again, but put in the word concealer. I think my concealer, the doe foot handle, just had way too much product. And then when I used it, holy mackerel, it was a little bit harder for me to use. So I need to practice with the concealer. I would say for sure when you are using this, you probably want to use a headband or just make sure that you pull your hair out of the way because with a spinning brush, it's going to grab your little fine hairs and wrap those in it. So make sure your hair is pulled back either with your hand or with a headband so that those little tiny uh, hairs don't get stuck or start spinning in it. Now this did have a little bit less coverage and so if you have if, if you've got flawless skin this is going to be even better for you it just feels amazing going on for me i do like a little bit higher coverage so i think the combo between this and the beauty sponge really is kind of it for me um, this goes on really nice it feels good but if there's any spots that are too light, I can always take the Beauty Blender and kind of blend a little bit more or build up a little bit more. Again, I love how it got around the nose. My nose is the hardest piece to get. That's why I like these like little, this Beauty Blender for Makeup Geek. It's got a little pointed piece so I can get kind of in the eye area and I can get around the edges of the nose. All in all, I think this is a very spa-like feel. So if you want a spa-like feel when you put on your foundation, this is going to be a great buy for you. So if you head over to MakeupGeek.com, I believe it's MakeupGeek.com, this is a very price-friendly Blend Smart foundation applicator. So if you've got any questions, thoughts, etc., please put those below. I have enjoyed testing out this Blend Smart. I thought it did a great job in those special areas for me. So that was fantastic. All right, y'all. I hope you have a beautiful day and make it a great one. Until the next video.